If you suffer from decreased kidney function, or if you're a healthcare provider and you're taking care of patients with kidney damage, kidney disease, or decreased kidney function, then you're gonna to wanna to learn everything you can from this video. I'm gonna be talking about a new study out of the UK that shows that with a proper diet, you can actually not only protect your existing kidney function, but improve your kidney function with a specific diet. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and this video is gonna tell you what you need to know. This study was published in Current Opinion in Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Obesity. I've got a link down in the show notes that you can click on. When you click on that link and you see this, then click the PDF. See where I've got it with the red circle? You can download a, a complete full copy of this study as a PDF. This study was published by the Right Honorable Dr. David Unwin, who's a GP from the UK. And this is not some unknown researcher none of us have ever heard of. I've actually met Dr. Unwin twice at conferences. He is a very intellectual, soft-spoken gentleman who is as honest as the day is long. He's a very salt-of-the-earth fellow. Uh, I took an immediate liking to him, and I don't think that he would stretch the truth or manipulate the data in any way. I 100% trust the results of this study. In this study, Dr. Unwin shares with us the results of 143 of his personal patients in his general practice. Uh, these patients all had type two diabetes. They had an average age of 61, and they had had type two diabetes for an average of five years and three months. Now, for you healthcare providers watching, you're immediately saying, well, now, wait a minute. I mean, if their average age is 61, then their kidney function should be getting worse as time goes on because most doctors believe that just getting older is a risk factor for decreasing kidney function. And they've been type two diabetics for at least five years. And every healthcare provider knows that type two diabetes is very destructive to kidney function. So these people, their kidney function should just be nose diving at the age they are and with having type two diabetes. But that's not what happened with these people. Uh, Dr. Owen has been following these patients for years and they've been all eating a specific diet that I'm gonna tell you about in a minute. These are real people in this study who are uh, living a real life, who have a real doctor that cares for them one-on-one. -on -one. And these are people who are eating real food. This study was not based on food frequency questionnaire based observational research where people fill out a, a food frequency multiple choice test every three years or every five years. We know that these people were eating this diet. And I'm gonna tell you how we know a little later in this video. After a few years on this diet, these patients actually, 67% uh, of the patients had an improvement in their serum creatinine. Now, most healthcare providers only see serum creatinine get worse as a diabetic gets older. These patients, their serum creatinine actually improved. They noticed significant improvements in their estimated glomerular filtration rate, and they noticed a significant improvement in their albumin to creatinine ratio in the urine. So all three major markers of renal function kidney health actually didn't just stay the same, didn't get worse, they improved. So what diet were all these patients eating? They were eating a low carbohydrate diet, okay? And you're, you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute. That means they're probably eating more protein and fat, right? I thought those two things were bad for our kidneys. So you're absolutely right. There are three macronutrients and every meal you eat every day of your life consists of some ratio of fat, protein, and carbohydrates right? There's only three macronutrients to choose from. And so if you lower the carbohydrates in your diet, then by definition, you're eating a higher protein, higher fat diet because you have to eat something or you'll starve to death. So, and then, so now how do we know that these patients were actually following the low carb diet and not just pulling Dr. Owen's leg? Well, we know that because they also lost weight and they also lowered their blood pressure. 
okay? And these, remember, these, their average age is 61 years of age. So if anything, their blood pressure should be going up, their weight should be going up. They also, uh, about 48% of these patients completely reversed their type two diabetes and were able to stop all type two diabetes medications. Are you impressed by that? Because you should be, because most doctors believe that type two diabetes is a chronic progressive condition that never gets better. It only gets worse and you have to take more and more medication as time goes by. But by eating a low carbohydrate diet, Dr. Unwin's patients, 48% of them following the low carb diet were actually, they, they no longer have type two diabetes and they don't take any medicine for type two diabetes. It's gone. They also lowered their triglycerides. They also raised their HDL cholesterol. So now the question is, how do we know they were eating the diet? Uh, I've been practicing medicine for 20 years. I've been recommending low carb diets for about eight or nine of those years. And I've never seen another diet that does this constellation of, of change in labs. You have a lowering of the hemoglobin A1C. You have a lowering of triglycerides. You have a, a raise of the HDL cholesterol. The patient loses stored fat, therefore they lose weight, and they have a lower blood pressure. There's no other diet out there that does this specific set of things to patients. And that's how we know these patients were following the diet because they would not have had this change of, of constellation of signs unless they were. So if you're a patient suffering from chronic kidney disease or you have some decrease in your kidney function, I highly encourage you to print out a copy of this study and take it to your current healthcare provider and ask them, hey, I, I would like to have improved kidney function. Can I try this diet and you and I work together to see if we can't improve my kidney function, not to mention all the other benefits that these people uh, enjoy. If you're a healthcare provider, then I would highly encourage you to print out a copy of this study and read it a couple of times and look up all the references. And then I want you to re-examine all the paradigms that you currently have. And that means just your, your way of believing the world and thinking about the world. Uh, for year, the first few years of my medical practice, I was very afraid to recommend any diet that was high in protein to someone who had uh, decreased kidney function. I was taught that that's very bad for your kidneys, but in this study of 143 patients, we see that that kind of diet actually made their kidneys function better. I think that this study is going to be a paradigm changer for the entirety of medical practice, or at least it should be. I implore you to share this video with anyone who suffers from chronic kidney disease, type two diabetes, or obesity, because I promise you it will help them improve their health. This is Dr. Berry. I'll see you next time.